are on sale now a limited amount will be sold at the door but we strongly suggest you purchase your tickets in advance to secure entry into this monumental event url's known for make sure you don't miss history url we're more than a league we're more than a network we are the culture you can't copy respect Captain Marvel, you know, known for June 7th, I will be in the building. Um, it's a crazy card. Um, I can give y'all like a, you know, a slight prediction of, of, of what I think is going to happen. Um, Cortez versus Rex, I think um, they love Rex so much, you know. I just think that. Cortez is my boy. Cortez is a very good rapper. They love Rex so much, though. I think Cortez is going to out-rap him. But I think they go cock buff Rex very good. Cock buff, that's a new term. Cock buff is actually a term that's true from red. Cock buff is another word for dick riding. You know how you take um you take a buffer. You know what I'm saying? So for all you niggas that be in the crowd and y'all just be Ugh! for no reason, just imagine yourself holding a nigga's dick and taking a buffer and just pause. But that is what you're doing. Cock buff. I think they go cock buff Rex real good. So that's what. I think uh, Big T B Big T B Magic. I think uh, you know usually I would just say whoever from St. Louis, but they both are very talented. I think uh, you know y'all know what Magic do. Y'all know what Big T do. I think it's gonna be a dope one. Um, DNA Ill Will. I think um, Ill Will is a is a is a better rapper than DNA. But I'm riding with the old heads though. So DNA just because I just want to. Miss Hustle and Miss Gaddis, um, I would like to see them have sex with each other, though. I would like to see, you know, I would like to see a sexual encounter on stage. Let me tell you something. First one of y'all decide to do some shit like that, y'all gonna be a queen. If, let me tell you something. It don't matter how many, Gaddis, let me talk to you right quick. It don't matter how many bars Miss Hustle got. While she on stage, go up on her, grip her motherfucking ass, and just kiss her in her mouth. Takes away everything she can do. If you go up to her and she be like, Miss Hustle going hard on her, <laughs> going hard, just go up to her and be like, man, bitch, grab her by her face and, mm, who the fuck we talking to? You a bitch. Bow down. You will win. Take notes. Just remember what I said. Reed Dollars, John John, um, I think Reed is focused, though. You know, I think Reed, I spoke to Reed once in his mind in another place. Um, And, you know, John John is John John, so, you know, um, if Reed brings the real element to the to the to the court, John John probably gonna die. That's just my opinion. But if he doesn't, then John John has a chance. So I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Um, honestly, I really don't even pay attention to all on the card. But uh, then me versus Goods, uh, Verb versus Goods. That's gonna be a good one because uh, Verb rap very well. You know what I'm saying? And and Goods has a lot of showmanship. I'm fans of both of them. I think both of them are very good. You know, um, I think it's a great matchup, you know. I think um, Goods on stage, his stage presence is unmatched by anybody. And I think that uh, Verb can compete with anybody. So, you know, I, I think it's a great... Y'all notice I'm just talking third person like this. It's really ridiculous. That's how you know I'm really fucked up because I'm sitting there talking about a battle that, like, I'm not even in it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know I'm going to bring some shit to this boy. But I think it's going to be a great battle. Now, the thing is, I think Verb is going to lose... For one reason, not the crowd, it's not the bully, because they're not going to boo. If Goods gets on stage with that cup, 3-0 Goods. Who wants in the house? 
Whatever Goods has in that cup makes people delusional as fuck. Goods can say anything, but as long as he has that cup, that magical Goods glass, oh my God. And then what's crazy is, Goods to say some shit that is, that, that's weak as fuck. And after he sips that cup, you swear that shit is all it's delusional as fuck. It's kind of like we doing this. Let me, let me give y'all an example. Hey, Dutch, how, how much one of them videos? Shit, nigga, thousand, nigga, stack, nigga. You know what I charge, man? Come on. Who's in the house? I got you for about 250 man. Who's in the house? Give me $75. <laughs> See, Goods has the ability to. That cup is magical. Like, for instance, he was battling um, X Factor. He had this one scheme, this Chinaman scheme, and it went like this. Stop it. Stare down that gauge hole. More flames. When that Glock spit, they come out the size of chopsticks. Watch me make this egg roll. Stay low, man. Now, after you see that scheme, what's crazy is we all know that shit is not hot. Okay? Chopsticks. I'm going to make this egg roll. Nobody on planet Earth calls another man an egg. It's not in jail. It's not anywhere on the planet. Not on the court. Not in any kind of terms. You say, hey, what's up, egg? No one does that. So that scheme is whack, goods. And then what makes me crazy is this is how I know that I ain't crazy. Mickey Fax is a lyricist. Zoom in on Mickey Fax when, when this happens. After he says, I'm going to make this egg roll stay low, man. Mickey out of nowhere says, Mickey, you know that's not hot. But subconsciously, because of this magical cup that he has, it brainwashed the fuck out of you in seconds. And Mickey's a lyricist. Mickey's a great lyricist. But for some reason, low, man, make that egg roll. That shit was like Jay wrote it. Then he did it again right here. Up, please, you a six five pussy. That's a word you don't mean, but y'all balling. It's proven jurors don't even deserve their own team. Now, did y'all hear the poor man scream out, Brooklyn Nets? They had nothing to do, they had a battle. But after Goods, <laughs> after Goods sipped that cup, it checked, it, it fucked everybody's mind up. He had a, a basketball skin and he said. We not at a next game. We're not at a Knicks game. We're not at anywhere. Dude just had an outburst because it was the cup. Well, every time Goods is on stage, when he sips this cup after his boss, it tricks y'all to really believe that he's saying some shit that's cold. June seventh, I'ma show y'all what cold is. People think people get it fucked up and they think that it's a joke with me or some shit like that, or they think, you know, what I'm saying like I'm one of the best niggas in the world. I'm proving to make every crowd rock in the world. You understand? It's a different. Like, you got to think. Like, a, a lot of times, pe people be saying to me that Goods is unbeatable. And I'm like, how is he unbeatable? But then I understand why he's unbeatable. He's unbeatable because all his battles are in the same place. If I had 12 battles in St. Louis, y'all would think I'm unbeatable too. Everybody can lose. This battle rap. If some, you could find something wrong or a way to come at everybody. Like, on Street Fighter, it's a way to beat every nigga on Street Fighter. It's a way to beat Dow Seam. It's a way to beat Blanca. It's a way. You got to find a way. All you gotta do is find a way. And this is what a lot of times people be getting fucked up. And they think it's a game and shit. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, right now, I'm not coming for the bullshit, man. I'm coming out there and I'm gonna put on a show. Like, I think that me and Gus are gonna have a classic night. <clears throat> I think it's gonna be a great battle. Because at the same time, I respect everything you do. I think that he, I think he cold. It's gonna be a good matchup, I think. But I'm not here for that shit, man. Now, all you motherfuckers believe now, don't y'all? All oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> I just sipped this cup and all y'all said, I believe that. 